Artists will be showing off their latest works like this beautiful painting through a special fundraiser for the Beringer Crawford Museum. It's called Fresh Art and it's so fresh the paintings created might still be wet when you buy them. Susan Jackson and Fresh Art artist Tom Bloomline are with us this morning. So kind of you to come in on Labor Day, both of you. Thank you so much, Pleasure. Susan and Tom. Oh, we're glad to be Pleasure. here. Well, Thanks. Tom, first, why don't you tell me a little bit about your art? These paintings are beautiful. Well, these, these are uh, impressionist type paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, honoring the tradition of well over a hundred years of artists going out into nature and, uh, and painting in plain air. Okay. Uh, you know, about three years ago, I participated in the world's largest gathering of plain air painters in Monterey, California. Oh, wow. How I, many of you were there? We were 700 of us, and wow. I, I was a field instructor during the event, and uh, I, I started feeling bad because all these years here in Cincinnati, uh, northern Kentucky, I hadn't participated at all in the fresh art. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, Beringer has, and Crawford has been a good mm -hmm. friend of mine for many years. Oh, and, good. And mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to do it last year, and so here I am again this year. So basically, what you're going to be doing on Saturday the 15th, you will be out in Davu Park yeah. with other artists yeah. mm -hmm. painting. And then, Susan, tell us about what happens that day and the next day. Okay, well, we've got um, about 33 artists that will be painting that day. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next afternoon uh, from 4 to 8, we're going to have our gala event with a dinner and a live auction. And um, so people can be outside and um, have a nice meal, but also um, meet the artists. We're going to have the artists be there uh, live so they, they can visit before they um, bid on the pieces that they see that they want. And it's a great way for uh, young people to start a portfolio of collecting art, mm -hmm. as well as um, people that already have a collection of art to add to it. As you can see, these are talented artists that we um, are having participate. Very we, much we so. Thank Tom, uh, you know. Well, in each piece, uh, all of them, every one of them, are the only one of those in the world. Right. Right. Because you're at every. If you could paint that scene a hundred times, but it would be different every time, oh, yeah, wouldn't it, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Because it always looks different and... It's always different. Wow. What's it like for you to be able to sort of interact with the people who might buy your art or just who just want to come and see an artist working? Well, they're always telling me, I wish I could do that. And I tell them... <laughs> I, I said the same thing. What I wish I could do, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I wish I could stay, uh, uh, keep my attention on point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm all over the place. That's my biggest yeah. challenge. One of the reasons I paint in plain air is, is uh, to develop the discipline because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ADD and, and it's really hard. I mean, every little bird chirping and fly landing mm -hmm. on me uh, distracts me from what I'm doing. So it's a real discipline to get out there and do it. Well, it's Saturday the 15th, and I, and I understand that the museum is free that day for families, yes. too, right? You can uh, go and uh, find the artists in the park and watch them paint, but come back for Sunday for the event when you can bid on the work. Very good. Um, tickets are $80. Which is not yeah. much for a wonderful fundraiser, and you get dinner and, and the dinner, interaction with the um, artists oh, and yeah. everything. But don't wait to get your tickets because, you know, we want to be able to plan for all those that are coming, and uh, the tickets are going now. Very so. good. Well, we've got the information on how to get tickets to Fresh Art on Local12.com. But again, it's uh, the weekend of the 15th and 16th at Davu Park in the Behringer, Behringer Crawford Museum. Thank you both so much Thank for you. coming. It was really Thanks a pleasure. Thanks for having us. Now Thank here's Tara. Too. From Local 12, the Weather Authority, this is Tara Blake's Hour by Hour Forecast. Well, Mother Nature does not seem to be taking a break on this Labor Day weekend. Heavy rainfall caused flooding in parts of the country while others experienced tornadoes. Laura Podesta brings us reports and I'll have our weather coming up next. This swirling gray mass, possibly a tornado, startled residents in Kalamazoo County, Michigan over the weekend. No injuries were reported, but damage like this tree into a home was seen in the storm's wake. It didn't sound like that freight train or whatever they say, but it just sounded like a real huge wind. In other parts of the country, heavy rain over a short period of time caused flash flooding. This car was left abandoned in the middle of a Lancaster County, Pennsylvania roadway. Nearby, flooding badly damaged the contents of these mobile homes. Every bit of her furniture is out here. She lost everything that gives her quality of life. 
In Lincoln, Nebraska, a lightning strike forced officials to halt play immediately after the opening kickoff of the Akron-Nebraska game. Heavy rain left fans drenched and disappointed. And in Miami, Florida, storm clouds moved over the area Sunday afternoon. The National Weather Service is warning about a tropical wave moving past South Florida and toward the Gulf Coast. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And the National Hurricane Center says that weather moving through the Gulf could bring two to four inches of rain to the Florida Keys and South Florida. Some parts of the state could get as many as eight inches. Our weather rather quiet. It's hot, it's humid.